Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm doing one of the things I love, uh, double IPA, and it's out of a pounder. If you know me, pounders are the perfect size for when I want a beer. Um, I don't want just one, but I don't want two necessarily. So, Anyway, this one is Ninja vs. Unicorn. It's, like I said, a double IPA. It's by Pipeworks Brewing, and they're out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is an 8% beer. So as you can see, great label art the ninja the unicorn fighting it out very colorful and i think it bears saying that uh can art was by a man in, by the name of jason burke at ink and lead designs great job jason let's check this sucker out i'll show you a majestic being mainly the unicorn Anyway, it looks very much like a double IPA. It's pretty orangey, uh, pretty see-through, um, looks well-filtered. Ooh, big, big, big citrusy nose on it. There's a little bit of bitterness uh, peeking through at the end, but it's not a ton of bitterness. There's just lots and lots of like grapefruit, a little bit of mango aspect in there, and then a little bit of kind of like some caramelly notes on the end. It smells really really awesomely aromatic. Oh, yep. Get that grapefruit. I get a little bit of that mango in there. I get a little bit of a bitterness like I was smelling in it, but it's not crazy. It's not a ton of bitterness. It's very light on that, and I really, really enjoy that, especially for being like 8%. A lot of IPAs at 8% will be significantly more bitter than this is. This is a very nice achievement as far as a double IPA goes. Um, this is very good. Juicy. With that little bit of bitterness to let you know, hey, this is double imperial, however you want to put it. Anyway, that's a nice beer. Thank you so much, Pipeworks, for making nice beers. Because any beer I have by you, I've liked. I haven't had a single one that I've been like, eh. So anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Uh, if you want to get some of this, actually, and you're in a state that can receive beer via the mail, you can go to craftbeertemple.com. Uh, that's the beer temple run by Chris Quinn, and that's where I got this, and he does a great job. And he uh, makes sure the date codes are always good, so it always comes to you fresh. It's always amazing beer. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and go get yourself an awesome beer.